What is going on guys? My name is Dustin. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Halloween. It is the end of October. Um, <coughs> still kind of like dealing with this lingering cough I've had for a while. But I did get some stuff. Not a whole lot. This was my birthday month, which was cool. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of stuff. My wife honestly got me most of my pickups um, for my birthday. And I got something hanging up on the wall. It's wall art, which I will show you um, after I show you this. No books this month just movies and a small stack of movies a lot of red i was looking at this i'm like there's a lot of red in it it looks pretty cool um so let's go ahead and get started so first up here we have winnie the pooh blood and honey 2 this is a blu-ray steelbook from scream factory i have the the last movie they did on steelbook and i have the umbrella entertainment like uh, boutique release that came from australia uh, i thought about picking up the umbrella version of this one i just didn't um honestly i'm cool with the steelbook i started watching this movie and i didn't get to finish it um the first one was a lot these movies aren't very good by any any stretch of the you know you know what i mean they're, they're, they're not the best movies in the world they're definitely not for everybody um personally i like really shitty low budget movies they're kind of my favorite movies to watch so yeah the first one was really bad but it was good at the same time uh the second one they definitely changed up poo a little bit i feel like this one is going to be like more like scary in terms of like the creatures and stuff i don't know but there we go winnie the pooh blood and honey 2 i'm actually really excited for the poo universe there is the back art uh the inside nothing too crazy it's just the disc and then it's like a silhouette there like that's that's it. I don't even think there's like a whole lot of special features with this, but nonetheless, it's a cool steel book. Super happy to own the other one. So yeah. Next up here to finish off my Quiet Place collection, this was a gift from my wife. And so was the Winnie the Pooh one, is this right here. This is the only Quiet Place movie that I own on Steelbook. And this was a Quiet Place day one, as you can see. Uh, it's all red, beautiful steel book. Uh, so stay quiet, stay alive. A lot of people didn't care for this movie. My wife and I watched it when it hit streaming, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. But we're also really big fans of that franchise in general. So, you know, we definitely did like this movie. Uh, this is a 4K steelbook. We got a little ad for Paramount in there in the digital code. And then you just have the 4K disc, the Blu-ray disc, and then this artwork. So nothing, um, nothing too crazy in terms of artwork, it's just a really simple red glossy steel book, and I really like it. I love how it's like the sound waves, but it's also New York City. Uh, there's my son making his presence known. Next up, this was another movie that I was really, really excited for, and another movie that I think a lot of people were excited for, but it just kind of disappointed a lot of people. Sorry about the pause, I had to sneeze. Um, that is Maxine. This is Blu-ray. I didn't get the 4K. I own X and Pearl on Blu-ray. This is the Walmart exclusive slipcover that they did for Maxine. They also did one for Pearl, which I own. Um, my wife and I watched this when it came in and honestly had a ton of fun with it. It was it was, it was good. It, you, If you like X and Pearl, I think you would definitely find enjoyment in Maxine. I can see why a lot of people didn't like it, but we enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Is it as good as X or as good as Pearl? No. Um, but do I think it like was a weak part of the trilogy? No. A lot of people may disagree. A lot of people said that this shouldn't have been the way it ended. But to be honest with you, I'm cool with it. I thought it was really fun. Next up, one of the big releases, a movie that we saw in theaters and absolutely loved. And we had to have it. That is Deadpool and Wolverine. My wife and I went and saw this um right around her birthday when it was in theaters and oh my god we laughed so hard the entire time and we ended up re-watching it it was still just as good um i absolutely love this movie this is probably one of my favorites like if i had to rank them i would still kind of put deadpool one just ab above this just a little bit because i feel like the first deadpool is just a masterpiece um deadpool 2 is probably my least favorite out of the three uh, but this one, I mean, to be honest with you, I really can't even put one over it. Like, this is tied with the first movie for me. Uh, this is such a bro movie, too. Like, it's just, 
it's so funny. I mean, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, I feel like this is what everybody has wanted for so long and it finally happened and it did not disappoint. This movie was absolutely fantastic. Again, just the standard Blu-ray. I didn't need the fancy 4K. There was a Blu-ray that Walmart put out that like it kind of opened up and it was like a pop-up book with a bunch of different Deadpools. I don't think it was worth the $35 price tag for a Blu-ray. At that point in time, you should have just spent the same amount of money and got the 4K. Um, but I'm cool with the regular Blu-ray. And then last but not least... A movie that I'm so glad finally got a 4K release. Not even just a 4K release, but just just a release in general. Because this movie was in like like a part of like a like a Blu-ray box set you could buy with all seven. But I really hope that these keep getting released and keep getting a 4K treatment. Uh, if you guys follow movies, a lot of people were hoping that like Scream Factory or somebody would pick up this franchise and produce a box set on it. But because of licensing and all kinds of stuff, that's just not able to happen. But they are hopefully going to continue releasing these movie by movie. And that is A Nightmare on Elm Street. So this is the original one. And uh, I have not watched this movie in so long. I remember some of it. I I remember when I was little, Freddy Krueger used to scare the hell out of me. Just the idea of him being in your dreams. I don't know. But like I have not watched this movie in years. It's Halloween. I know I should probably watch Halloween. But I watched the Halloween movie so much throughout the year that I feel like I want to switch it up and watch Nightmare on Elm Street. The cool thing is, is my son, uh, my oldest son, I have a one-year-old and an 11-year-old. The 11-year-old is very much into horror and like wanting to kind of experience more because obviously he's into Five Nights at Freddy's. We watched that movie. But like he he wants to, to watch the classics. He's been wanting to watch the Halloween movies um, and he has shown interest in A Nightmare on Elm Street. So we might actually throw this on and watch it. But yeah, Awesome, awesome 4K release. The slipcover is gorgeous. The steelbook that released was pretty cool too, but I didn't need the steelbook. I'm cool with this. Um, this was like sold out everywhere. I actually ordered this from Groove and it came really quick. So super happy to have this. And then show you um, my favorite gift that I got for my wife. And it is right over there. I apologize for the mess in my room, but uh, yeah, this right here. This is the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Cotton Candy Gun. This is uh, like a like an LED sign from Spirit Halloween. And it looks, I know the lights are, it's still light outside, but it looks really good when it's dark and the lights are off. So yeah, there you go. Really sweet. I absolutely love it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. As always, I'll see you later in another video. Bye-bye.